Next, we're going to talk a little bit about looping in Riot.js. Within my Hello World tag, I'm going to add a div with an each attribute. The each attribute can loop over an array or an object. Let's go ahead and add a people array. As you can see on the right, we've successfully looped through an array of people. Now one thing to note with the RiotJS each attribute, when looping through an array of objects, the property is implicit, meaning that you don't need to type in this here. It's already on this, and so the only thing I need to use is name. Next, you're probably wondering, well, what about an array of non-objects? Let's go ahead and do that now. And let's add our list of grocery items to the bottom. If we save and check on the right, you'll notice that our list shows up. Now just a quick tidbit. Let's say we wanted to take one of the arrays that we've defined within our tag and move it to our app.js and instantiate it with our tag. Let's open our app.js file, and let's copy and paste it here. Let's create a params object, and let's put this in here. Next, we need to tell our tag to look for our people array within properties instead of our tag. We'll remove it here and adjust this up here. And as you can see on the right, it's still working. This concludes our demonstration on looping in Riot.js. Thanks for watching.